This is using Laptop as Desktop 2016 edition featuring the 2016 MacBook Pro non-touch bar model. This device makes this process of changing from laptop mode to desktop mode effortless. The only cable required to connect this laptop into the monitor, keyboard, and mice while charging at the same time is a single USB Type-C cable. This is a Thunderbolt 3 hub. It has a HDMI, USB Type-A, and a Type-C cable. You can use this Type-C cable to charge as well. I have the Type-A cable connected to a 12-port USB hub. I have the mice, keyboard, a camera USB cable, and a USB mic connected to the USB hub. So by connecting a single cable, I can power this whole setup. This makes it super easy to connect and disconnect the laptop. This is the setup I use for editing videos, and I'm currently editing this video using this setup. This is all possible because of the Type-C connector that's in the 2016 MacBook Pro. I've been very happy with this MacBook Pro. This is the non-touch bar model. I have a video on why I chose this model over the touch bar model. I also have links for the best pricing for this MacBook Pro. I guess I got this for $13.49 from Adorama. Once again, those links are in the description. I love the convenience of this setup. This makes it super quick when I feel I need to use a desktop. One thing I wish this MacBook Pro had was a SD card reader. I'm fine with the Type-C connectors, but including an SD card reader would make this MacBook Pro perfect for me. With this setup, you can use the MacBook Pro in a desktop mode with the lid closed, or you can use it in the extended monitor mode. I prefer the extended monitor mode so it gives me more screen real estate. In Final Cut, you can use the monitor for the timeline and editing and the MacBook screen for the full resolution preview of the video. After buying this device, I switched from Premiere to Final Cut, which means I'm retiring my desktop, which is sad to see. Final Cut is super optimized for this device. The render time is next to nothing, especially for 1080p videos. It also makes it super convenient when I'm doing projects or learning programming. I can have Xcode and Google Keep on the monitor and have the video tutorial on the MacBook screen. I also use this setup when I'm watching something on Netflix or Amazon Instant while web browsing or trying to do something productive. Just the MacBook screen real estate is not enough a lot of the times. This setup is super effective for productivity. I also want to compare what it would take to achieve this setup on the last gen MacBook Pro. You would have the HDMI cable, the USB hub, and the MagSafe cable connected to achieve this setup. You can use a Thunderbolt hub to have the USB and the HDMI at the same time. Still, at minimum, you have to use two cables, Thunderbolt hub and the power cable. So this MacBook Pro forces you to buy the adapter, but it also makes it more convenient, especially if you want a setup like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you saw the benefit of this Type-C cable. I've seen quite a few low-end Windows laptops with the Type-C cable, so you should also be able to achieve this setup pretty easily. That's all. Thanks for watching.